everyone and welcome back to my channel server again my name is dr lokendra singh and today we are going to discuss about interview questions which are related to aws elastic load balancer okay so first of all uh, what is elb in aws so elb is such a device which is used to manage load distribution on multiple servers for example you have one domain wherein you are running three to four instances for example uh, like this is your first ins instance and this is your second third and fourth now what if you want to manage load on all the four servers equally so what will you do here is you will place one elb here and uh, using that elb you will start distributing your request from this server from this load balancer to all the servers it means first request will go here second third and fourth so this is how your load balancer works. It means this works as a proxy server. Uh, all the requests from DNS will come to this load balancer and this load balancer will forward all the requests to your these instances. Okay, so how, to how do we create a VPC load balancer in AWS? So let me tell you this question is just a bit tricky, nothing more than that. So whenever we create any load balancer so we have to select a vpc during load balancer creation so that is by default configuration if you do not have multiple vpcs so by default your load balancer will be created in your default vpc okay so what is difference between elb and route 53 so load balancer is a regional service it means for example if you have your load balancer and you have your route 53 as well so what happens is as I told you that uh, load balance your route 53 is a global service so whenever request comes from here so it can forward request on multiple load balancers maybe your first load balancer is in North Virginia second uh, load balancer is in Singapore so your route 53 can make it possible like first request will go here and your second request from your load balancer will go on this load balancer it means this particular can manage load ban load balancing across regions not only on availability zones but on regions as well for example if this region maybe this is mumbai region server so if this server goes down so it can start sending region to your singapore server or maybe wherever you are running your servers so this is major difference between load balancer and your route 53 this is a global service and this is regional load balancer can can uh, distribute load among all the availability zones which are available within a single geographical region wherein route 53 can uh, distribute load across regions so that is main difference okay then after uh, list the techniques which are used by load balancer so if we talk about load balancer techniques so load balancer can distribute load in such a manner like first of all it can it can, it can uh, send load equally so that is known as round robin it means one hit on each load balancer will go so just for your convenience let me type in that here so the very first one is your so uh, the very first uh, technique is which is known as round robin it means rr second one is active failover active failover then after uh, it can be your uh, weighted then after it could be your least least connection then after stk session or that could be transparent transparent means for example you have only one server behind this it means all the three servers which we are uh, talking about so these servers are not available the uh, we have only single node so it means that is transparent so these are the algorithm which are used by load balancer to forward load if you talk about your uh, route 53 so it provides like uh, latency based routing geographical based routing and many more okay then after uh, what do you mean by target groups in AWS load balancing okay so target groups are logical bounding or logical grouping of multiple EC2 instances for example you have one load balancer 
and uh, you are running your website using this so what if you want that all the traffic which is coming for app.example.com to this and these two, two nodes so this one these two nodes will be clubbed in a group and that group is known as target group for this load balancer okay for example you are running web.example.com so you can configure the uh, that particular target group clubbing these two nodes and you can declare that these that this is target group for web.example.com <coughs> okay so that is your target group now what is difference between auto scaling and load balancing so what is major difference let me tell you auto scaling is a feature which monitors load balancing traffic it means all the traffic which comes on any load balancer that is monitored and managed by auto scaling group if in case load goes high so obviously your auto scaling group will associate, will attach some new instances within your load balancing stack for example currently we have only two and we uh, we have some rules configured wherein we have declared that if load goes below, below uh, like uh, above 30 or traffic reaches uh, higher or like number of hits per instances are more than 1000 per second so it can add new instances within this target group so that is the work of your auto scaling group wherein load balancing load balancer is only responsible for distributing load uh, distributing load among all the nodes available within a target group okay how does uh, e uh, aws elb work so as i have uh, already told you that elb uh, ex uh, receives connections or re re receives uh, request from route 53 and it further distributes among all the target groups available and which are associated with this load balancer okay now uh, how to set alert for elastic load balancer if out of service okay so like uh, when we are talking about uh, alert so whenever you create load balancer i will dim i have already demonstrated all these things in my previous video so i will share the link in description box you can check that out so when you configure a load balancer so over there we can set up monitoring as well we can create an alarm like at what particular moment we need to get a notification whether number of connections reaching high number of like uh, threshold increasing or like we are receiving any error code specific so uh, based on that we can set alarm on load balancer okay so can we use multiple elb for single ec2 instance yes we can use multiple uh, elb for single ec2 instance how for example you have two domains uh, let me place it here okay so what you can do here is like one request is coming from this server and you have configured two domain on this on this machine or you can call like on each machine you have configured two domains what you will do what you will do here is you will create two target group and these machines these four machines going to be part of both target groups so obviously one ec2 machine can be part of, part of multiple target groups and one target group can be associated with one load balancer okay so what is network load balancer so as we are talking about uh, this load balancer, this is your uh, ELB, it means elastic load, load balancer. So there are three types of load balancer available on AWS. First of all is classic. So what classic does is it sends traffic in a round robin manner and it does not think it does, it does not care about domain or any specific forwarding mechanism. So whatever request comes here, it starts sending on all these. Fine. Now second is application load balancer. For example, you have a domain which is known as app example.com so that it will go here you have web.example.com so that it will come here you have admin.example.com so that it will come here maybe if you have uh, maybe mobile.example.com so that with that it will come here so you can place multiple requests maybe host based routing you can do maybe path based routing you can do so all these things i have already uh, taught or i have already discussed within my previous videos obviously i will share the link within description box so that is what you can perform here okay then after why does net why does elb have 60 seconds non configurable request timeout so obviously load balancer uh, has very smart has very smart mechanism to uh, manage all the instances reason being whenever we need to deploy application on uh, these instances which are associated with this load balancer so if we do not configure this uh, like request timeout so what happens here is this load balancer will immediately remove this server from uh, target group or will stop sending traffic here and obviously all the existing connection will also go go bad or this this will be terminated immediately so that is why load balancers have 60 second non configurable 
टाइम आउट वेर इन यू विल हैव टू वेट फॉर वन मिनट टू गेट दिस सर्वर्स रिमूव फ्रॉम दिस लोड बैलेंसर एंड दैट इज वाई दिस सर्वर्स आर कंसिडर टू बी सिक्योर एंड ऑब्वियसली ऑल दस ऑल द रिक्वेस्ट विच आर बींग सर्व फ्रॉम लोड बैलेंसर एंड दिस इंस्टेंसिस दिस विल नॉट हैव एनी इम्पैक्ट ओके सो why does elb has more than one ip address okay so as we know that uh, load balancers are really highly available so based on your availability zone e or based like uh, the number of availability zone you want to send your traffic to a load balancer it means this server is in availability zone 1 this is in availability zone 2 and this is in availability zone 3 so as and when you configure that how many uh, जोन यू हाउ मेनी अवेलेबिलिटी जोन यू वॉन्ट टू कवर अंडर दिस लोड बैलेंस सो बेस्ड ऑन दो अवेलेबिलिटी जोन ए डब्ल्यू एस असाइंस वन आई पी पर जोन टू दिस इलास्टिक लोड बैलेंस ऑब्वियसली दिज आई पीज आर नॉट स्टेटिक इफ यू आई पी बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एप्लीकेशन लोड बैलेंस सो दिज आई पीज आर डायनेमिक एज ऑफ टूडे बट यस इफ यू वॉन्ट सो यू कैन गो फॉर प्री वार्मिंग दिस दिस कुड ऑल्सो भी वन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू असाइन इज एन स्टेटिक आई पी वॉट कैन आई डू so obviously you cannot assign any static ip to your load balancer but yes you can do one thing here that you can go and you can request aws for pre warming of your load balancer wherein your load balancer will have capacity to serve maybe 1000 request maybe 10000 request maybe 1 lakh request per second because this will be pre warmed and once it is pre warmed you will be charged based on the particular limit not based on your traffic so this thing uh, has to be kept in mind okay so these are the questions which i got from one of my uh, like youtube channel follower so i have responded all i hope and uh, thank you so very much for your time have a good uh, like happy learning from server again if you have any further questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist thank you